हे गाइस वेलकम बैक टू सी हैश और सी सब ट्यूटोरियल सेशन 29 इन टुडे सेशन यू कैन लर्न अबाउट सी हैश एन्यूमरेशन और इनाम सो एन एन्यूमरेशन टाइप और इनाम टाइप इज अ वैल्यू टाइप डिफाइंड बाय सेट ऑफ नेम कांस्टेंट ऑफ द अंडरलाइंग इंटीग्रल न्यूमेरिक टाइप्स टू डिफाइन एन एन्यूमरेशन टाइप यूजर नीड टू यूज इनाम कीवर्ड and specify the names of enum member and enum is a special class that represent a group of constant which will be unchangeable or read only variables to create an enum user need to use enum keyword instead of class or interface and separate the enums items uh, items or the enums member by a comma by default the first item of a enums member will be having the value or as zero the second item will be one and so on to get the integer value from an item user must explicitly convert the item to an integer user can also assign their own enum values and the next item will update their number accordingly enums, enums are often used in switch statement or if else statement to check for corresponding value so what are the real time example of enum suppose say in case you are you want to uh, deal with defect so you definitely will be having some defect priority or severity so you can give like low medium high critical as a priority or severity like that similarly in case you want to deal with month right which will be constant in nature you cannot change the value of the month it will be january february march april may june july august September, October, November, December like that. So in case you are defining this 12 month, so by default first month January will start from 0 and then last month December will go till 11. But there is a provision you can change the right value, default value or the increased value to any number. Suppose say in, uh, February it will be 1, January it will be 0, February it will be 1. But in case you are def defined February as 11, so March will be 12 accordingly. So the remaining thing will be updated accordingly. So in case you are defining February as 11 instead of 1 by default value, so your December will be calculated in 21 instead of 11. Okay. So enum can also be used in switch statement or repel statement. So I will show you how you can actually define enum and then you can use them accordingly in the real time world. So this is our, uh, I mean, she has C uh, SARP tutorial project and this is our the class program. This is the main method. So we can define enum within the class within namespace like that. So all the um, enum member mostly will be um, kind of fixed, right? It will be unchangeable or it, it will be read only members. So let's define. Suppose let's try to give a real time example as we are working for the right uh, testing industry, right? You already are familiar with the defect life cycle. So whenever you are logging as a defect, right? You need to give some severity of the priority. Severity is nothing but the how critical defect is to the application so you can give something called low very lowest medium high and the critical which will be which you need to fix at the earliest right so say create a enum so how can you create enum you need to use the word called enum and then you can give any enum name suppose say for the defect i will be giving called defect severity and you need to give the second bracket so this is the enum name this is the sorry this is the enum oh, keyword and this is the enum name defect severity after that you can define the value of the enum member so i will be defining called low sorry mm. so high low, low then uh, medium with comma high and critical that is the real time defect severity For the last word, you no need to give the comma, right? So this is the four kind of, uh, I could say, uh, this is the, I mean, unchangeable value, right? Whenever you are dealing with the defect life cycle, so definitely these are the value you need to deal with. You cannot change those. You have to pick up any value from this list, right? So this is the way you can define the value of a enum or the member type, right? Or the member variable of a enum. Now, what I will do, I will try to call that enum right and I will try to access those enums member so how can I do it I need to call, uh, use that uh, enum name and I'll be creating a variable say 
low severity right that is the variable low save and I use, will be using that enum name dot low that is the variable so that is the way I can access that low enum member then I can simply print in the console right console dot write line and this is my low severity defect severity so that is the way you can access it similarly in case you want to access the other variable right you can just simply do it so instead of low I will be critical critical uh, severity right and here it will be critical you could see then you can just print that one so that is the way you can just deal with that now if you run your code it will print you that corresponding enum uh, members low and critical here right you could see then low and critical is coming so that is the way you can use those enum in case you are it is defined at the program level sorry at the class level or at the namespace level you can access them in the main method now I already mentioned right enum can be used in the switch statement or repel statement that is fine so I will be covering here how to in use the enum in the switch statement okay so you already have suppose say this is the variable we already created right any variable I can take it okay let's take uh, let's comment it or remove this line for now so let's see uh, this is the low save variable I already created and with the help of that right um, or instead of low save right I can that's fine keep it low save only or maybe I can uh, change the variable name called any severity value right severity value and you can definitely print it out in the console as well or if it is not required you can remove that line ok you can comment out this line so that is the way you can definitely just uh, print it based on the requirement now I'll be using a switch statement so how you can use that switch ok here you need to provide that variable within the first bracket then you need to give second bracket where you need to give case so first case is defect severity dot low right that is my first case so in case it is low so I want to print out console dot write line here I want to print out like low severity defect logged right I can enclose with break every keyword I can uh, sorry every statement I can end with break so that in case right a case is matching so immediately it will terminate the loop case statement similar way like there are four different uh, enum variable I can go with that way so defect severity dot medium so it will be medium severity defect defects high so it will be high severity defect and in case it is a critical it will be critical severity defect right so that is the way I can use a switch statement right to deal with the enum variables now let's try to run it run the code and let's see right uh, based on the low what the value from the switch statement is getting called or printed out in the console you could see low severity defect logged now if you change it here instead of low if you change it the critical right so what will happen so value will be critical here from the enum critical variable critical and it will match with that particular case critical defect severity dot critical and so it will be printed out in the console called critical severity defect log so that is the way you can deal with the switch statement and you can work with the enum right critical severe defect log ok so that is the way you can use uh, the um, switch statement or if else part similar way you can use also the if else part you can give multiple condition suppose in the real time right in case you want to uh, deal with the uh, day num day like it man can be right sunday monday when uh, uh, tuesday wednesday thursday friday and saturday like that so in case you want to check with couple of condition that whether it's a sunday or saturday so it will be weekend right in case it's a monday 
like it will be weekday monday to friday it will be weekday. like that is the way you can validate it right so in case it is a mm, month right january february march april may like that so that out of 12 month uh, seven month is with 30 uh, like one uh, one days four month is like uh, 30 days and february is the month is 28 days so based on the month you can check right which uh, so which month calendar month will be having how many days like that so that is the one example i have tried to give and let's comment out this line of code for now and now i will give you another example of uh, another enum called right uh, weeks or days right weeks day so i um, will be creating an enum what is the name of the enum so days of week that is the enum so within the thing we need to give it it will start from sunday so by default right you need to give comma so i already mentioned right it will start from zero then monday right because this will be fixed always right it will go with one then tuesday wednesday thursday friday automatically you could see this at the coming this, this is the constant right and saturday okay and in the last no need to give any comma here so tuesday and then wednesday thursday friday so tuesday will be g2 here wednesday will be three it will start from zero. Uh, Thursday will be four. Friday will be five, and Saturday will be six. Now, in case you want to access that value, corresponding value, right? So, to get um, the integer value from an item, you uh, item user must explicitly convert the item to an integer. And by default, it will start with 0, 1, and so on. But you can assign or you can change their own enum value so that next item will update accordingly. So now I want to get the value, corresponding value for Monday. Right? So how can I do get it? So let's create uh, a variable in the main method. Okay? So I need to take the enum name. Right? Here in the main method, I'll be calling that one and i can call any day suppose say uh, i want to take that monday right and here i need to uh, change it to integer because this will be giving me the uh, like uh, that string value so i need to change it to integer typecast integer i n t so that is the way you can typecast integer so definitely that value i need to store in some integer variable so what i'll be storing in some integer variable so integer uh, like say Monday Monday right value okay so integer value from an item user must explicitly convert the item to an integer so that is the way I converted already right then I can simply print out the value here so what value it will be displayed it will be displayed the value as 1 for the Monday because it is starting Sunday, starting with 0, Monday 1, Tuesday 2, Wednesday 3, Thursday, sorry, Thursday will be 4, Friday 5, like that. So now let's try to run the code. After saving the code, it will be giving you the value as 1. Because Sunday will be starting with 0. You could see that is coming as 1. Now, you could also uh, check like separate day. So instead of Monday, I can go with uh when when is the value when is the value so it will be when is day i can change it so when is the value will be three here right and set the day value saturday value so it will be saturday so it will be six here you could see it is coming as six. so that is the way for Monday it will be 1, for Wednesday it will be 3 and Saturday it will be 6. 
so now it will be coming accordingly 136 now say definitely right I, I sometime I don't want to go with the default value right 0 1 2 3 I want to change any number so what you need to do you need to assign a value suppose say Sunday and Monday I can go with 0 and 1 the default value but twist down what I want to change it so instead of 2 I want to change it called maybe 12 for Tuesday so what will happen now for Wednesday instead of 3 it will be changed to 13 similarly for Thursday it will be changed to 14 similarly for Friday now it will be changed to 15 so as and when you are changing any value automatically the remaining value will be changed accordingly and for Saturday it will be 16 now right so for Monday it will be still 1 so Wednesday it will be changed to 13 instead of 3 and for Saturday it will change to 16 instead of 6 so that is the way you can change the default value you could see now for Wednesday instead of 3 it is coming 13 and for, for Saturday it is coming as 16 so you can take the default value otherwise you can assign the new value based on requirement so the remaining like um, in a um, members value uh, integer value will change correspondingly okay so enum is nothing but a special class which represent a group of constant which are unchangeable or read only variable in case you want to deal with something right which you never change so you can create an enum and definitely you can have a lot of enums member right which will be always unchangeable so by default it will be zero or the first uh, variable or enum member and then one so on but in case you change any value so your remaining uh, enum member will value will be changed accordingly you can use the enum in the switch statement or if else condition statement so that's all from today's session guys thank you